This, uh, this picture was done in the, uh, spirit of newness. Um, there's a lot of newness that's happening. Um, a lot of revitalization and revamping that's happening. Um, Mary, shout out to the missus. Um, the start of the revamping of my YouTube channel. Um, I think I did a decent six months and it turns out that I want more. Uh, my artwork is even changing, even since my last upload. Um, so I definitely appreciate the people that are still here. Um, and to any new subscribers, welcome. Um, you're lucky you get to get in on the revamp. So, uh, like I said, it's good that you all are here. Um, and for the revamp, I think in the revitalization and the newness, I thought the first video should be evidence of that. Um, this, I actually didn't do, redo this picture with the intent to um, to put it on YouTube or to, I think everything just falls in line the way it's supposed to. I never intended for this to be a thing, but um, when God wills something to be, it will be. So, um, this picture was just a because thing and now because NFTs are uh, pretty prevalent, I ended up giving this picture to my brother um, as a Christmas gift and told him whatever he made from it in terms of NFT money, um, that's your Christmas gift, so you know, you're welcome. Um, this is the only freebie. But no, it, it I did it when I first started doing digital art, maybe 2018-ish. Um, and I wanted to do something with a lot of color. I wanted to uh, do something with a bold shape, bold shape and color. And this was perfect. And when I stopped, I knew deep down that I wasn't done. Um, but almost, I kind of just didn't care either. So this is a very unique piece. Let's go ahead and get that started. Yeah, so here is a pretty good sense of where I stopped. Um, you can see, for some people, it looks like it's fine. Um, I knew that it, it was meant to be more. I knew I wanted more from this picture. Here in the uh, chest, I guess, the wing area, right here, just below the face, um, I put a lot of time into it, trying to get those colors to mesh and trying to not make those colors seem uh, seem separate, like it was just one cohesive piece, like it all flowed. And a lot of people see a picture like this and they think that it was simple and it's just, you know, you draw it. Well, one, drawing in and of itself is a process. Um, it's a certain technique to be able to get form and to replicate form. Well, one question I always have is, are all the pictures I do freehand, uh, or do I use references? Um, this, the, the, the term freehand entails that it's all from, from here. Well, it can. Um, so technically, I guess it is freehand, um, as I don't do any tracing, but I guess it's all mental tracing. So I use references. Uh, for my pictures and then I turn that into these uh, these pictures no matter what the picture is um, some are a direct translation some of my just pitched together or stitched together rather um, certain ideas 
to form a picture. A lot of my stuff for Earl, um, who's my, my OC, my original character, um, his stuff is, it depends. I, as an artist, you do a lot of paying attention to life around you. Um, when, when you go to malls and you people watch, the way that certain clothing articles falls on somebody's body, certain positioning that's common. Um, you tend to pay attention to that stuff. Sometimes you don't pay attention enough and you use references. That's where I use like Pinterest and uh, Google a whole lot. Um, I'm just recently getting into Reddit. So Reddit is an interesting place. I'll talk about that another day. But <clears throat> so yes, these references. So going back to the picture though. I don't really know. I know in this in this uh, in this segment right here. I don't really know where to start. I know I want to start somewhere though. Um, there we go. So that's actually a good place to stop here, where uh, you see the tracing. So what I usually do for my pictures is. You all have seen um i'll draw a scratch layer and then i'll just draw two more layers to refine uh draw two more layers to just refine that that rough sketch um just to get it closer and closer to what the, the finished picture would look like in the form that it needs to take uh so this here is me using that top layer to sketch for a reference to make sure I'm staying within the confines, but I'm also uh, staying true to what I set out to do. So it's very, um, and it's very important that, and very special that after all this time, I have saved the layers. Because there are some pictures where when I finish and I know I'm done, and I don't ever plan on returning, I will, um, I will, I guess it's smashing, uh, put it, you just put all the layers into one, to one layer. And at that point, I usually, I do it if I have to do like resizing, um, or if I have to move the piece as a collective and I don't want to move like the outline without moving the paint and vice versa. Um, you just want to move it and you got to resize it. So you get, you smush all the layers into one. Um, so here I'm glad I didn't do any of that. I, like I said, I knew I wasn't done. I was far from done. But I never knew, the, again, it's 2022. Uh, <clears throat> well, when I did, when I redid this, it was the end of 2021. But at that point, it's three years since I've touched this picture. So let's keep going. It's always funny um, whenever you rewatch your your work. You can't help but think about whatever song was playing or uh, what form of media. And that's another question I always get <clears throat> when I do art. Uh, do I do I ever consume any other media? Or what kind? Because most artists know that you've got to have something going in the background. So for this particular image, I had, I'm pretty sure I've been, I've been listening to the Brilliant Idiots podcast with Charlemagne the God and Andrew Schultz. Um, they are genuinely brilliant idiots. Some stuff is so hilarious. Uh, other stuff, it has your question. It's like, why do we give people like this a platform? But it's still just mindless entertainment and it keeps me laughing. Um, <clears throat> I'll also consume music. I'm a big hip hop head and I'll do a lot of hip hop, but for, but the, the type of music you listen to determines the speed at which you paint and create, um, sometimes, and sometimes it subconsciously bleeds into what you're doing. So for pieces like this, where I need these colors to harmonize, I need something slow. This was the podcast, and this was also uh, some oldies music. Um, there's a band 
<clears throat> called uh, the internet they're good for stuff like this too um, where it's just a, a lot of a lot of melodic music um, but this one was like I said it was uh, the Joe Rogan podcast it was Brilliant Idiots podcast and uh, it was all these music It's just so, it's so incredible to see how far I've come. I wish I would have recorded my old sessions, like when I first did this picture, uh, to see just the growth of this, so you see the different mindset. Instead of trying to make hard lines, I'm able to take my time and uh, really, really think about what it is I need to do before I do it. And the same can be said for even the editing of these videos. Before I edit, I need to or before I even create the videos, I need to know what it is I want to showcase because that will tell me how I need to shoot them. And it would also uh, determine what program to use and what's the easiest way to stitch this stuff together or showcase to get the best sound. So this building process of these videos um, is so, so similar to the art itself. Um, but I think it's important to showcase a lot of that stuff. Um, another question I had, uh, things you've learned since first attempting this picture. Like I said, the, the trying to make harmony in terms of the colors that you use, the paint that you use, also, uh, time spent. So... When I was just pen to paper, when that's all I did, um, I couldn't spend more than two hours on a picture. And I felt like more than two hours was just overkill. Also, my attention span wasn't there. I wanted to see what the finished product looked like. So I found myself rushing around the two hour mark and it wasn't on purpose. It wasn't like I timed it out, but I would look at the clock and I realized that two hours, two and a half hours was right around that time. So uh, figuring out that sitting at the computer staring at colors and references for five, six hours uh, a day is nothing, you know, nothing compared to what I was doing. That's just, that's color and making sure the colors blend well, making sure that you get the right, the brushes, the type of brush makes your images also um there are certain brushes that i use for different things so there's like a like a charcoal texture so that's that's mostly what it is what brushes are for people who aren't even into digital art um just yet the texture of the brush matters the cut the way that the colors blend if i want the the texture to look more rough i'll use charcoal if i want it to look more smooth obviously watercolor i have something in the middle uh, an acrylic um, there's so many different brush types. If I need to get a fine line, I'll either use like a watercolor brush and just paint around it to make it fine, or I'll just go straight for a pencil. It just all depends on what you're feeling, which goes back to my point about, uh, music. Um, it, that's all art is. Even if you're using references, even if it's not all at the top of your head, um, <clears throat> it's, what the feelings are and and you know that there are uh, multiple ways to make the same image so i'm glad i revisited this one um it turned out incredible and i'll make sure that i post the finished picture that i sent to my brother <clears throat> and i don't even know if he put it up as an nft just yet but i'll make sure that i post that image for you all to see um i'll try to do it before and after we'll see So here, oh, it's another thing I've learned. Um, more than, colors are more than what meets the eye. Here, there's there's obviously this overpowering green, but there are these purple and blue undertones. And here, there's a couple of orange uh, undertones also. <clears throat> um, here, I'm, or just, I'll rewind a little bit. 
Um, there are these, like I said, just the in the tail feathers. There's these purple, there's these yellows, there's these oranges, and the overtone obviously is this green. But in order to get this green pop the way you want it to, there's these undertones that take place. And then you can also find those other, other tones in the the wing, the top of the wing right there at the uh, tail. There's these reds, there's these blues, these greens. So it all uh, works. And then we'll speed it up here. And we're going, I retouched up the face because I learned that darker colors, more bold colors rather, take the picture in a, in a decent direction. Um, yeah, this the, I'm so glad I decided to retouch it up. And you see here, I think I actually show where I combine layers. Or maybe I did. I don't know if I did with this one. No, I just made the background smaller and I, because I, I learned a thing or two about backgrounds also. That's a lesson for another day. But um, again, thank you all for sticking with me this long. Um, shout out to the new subscribers. Um, I'm glad you're finding me at this point in my journey. And I'll continue to create content. Um, to start out 2022 with a banger. Um, let's just go and keep adding from here i'll make sure that my pictures become more and more incredible as i become more comfortable with digital art and also uh recording my art i mean you don't realize how how nervous or apprehensive you become um when you know that whatever you decide to do every single stroke is going to be judged by the internet because you choose to put your content out so it definitely is in the back of my mind but that voice is getting quieter and quieter um man i can produce the content that i need to so like i said thank you all for sticking around and hope you like it don't forget to like comment subscribe uh comment that's a huge one obviously subscriptions but commenting i don't think we like as artists as people who produce bodies of work so even if your youtube channel is not art you like to know what people are thinking. You like to know um, what people think about your product that you produce into the world now. Yes, we are sensitive, but good or bad, it's like torture porn. It's like you have to sit and read it all and to digest all the comments. So don't forget to leave comments. See you.